was so sweet. <laughs> we do whatever is gonna make our kids happiest and give them the best night's sleep. He did lose a tooth though. He did. In today's video, we're gonna show you Penelope's new swing sensory bed. Are we wanting to go outside? Yeah. Several days later. Hello guys, so this is gonna be a hodgepodge vlog with just a little bit of everything. It is about Nellie's cool swing bed, as Lex told you guys. But today, we are, it's Saturday, and we are taking Danielle to her senior photos. It is time to, time to do it, a respite. This was the first day for respite. So that was really exciting, it was really nice. She's gonna start doing 10 hours a weekend because during the week we don't need as much sport, but on the weekend <laughs> it definitely helps having, having someone here. So we're really excited. I'm gonna stop vlogging and driving and get going. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is so our photographer is absolutely amazing. Danielle did great. She took so many good shots. I can't wait to share them. But we are going to go now. It was so fast too. Like she did that all in like 35 minutes. We should get them hopefully in the next few weeks. Several days later. Good morning. Uh, Landing crew. Uh, <laughs> Your hair. Your hair. It's actually not morning, it's afternoon, but you know. Whatever. We'll pretend it's morning. So Lux and Noah yesterday had a little bit of a stomach ache, so we canceled therapies just in case. They're feeling better today, so it doesn't matter, but because of that, ABA is canceled. But physical therapy's coming. And occupational therapy's coming. So today's video, as Lex told you guys, is it's about your bed because you kept sleeping on the floor or sleeping in your cocoon swing. It did not look comfortable. No. Mama, say mmm. Say uh, no. So this morning Lonnie brought her a cookie because you know that's good for breakfast. And she said, cookie, cookie. She's just saying so many words. I mean, you're getting to be a big girl. You just like seeing yourself, don't you? Go away! Go away! Go away! You love him? Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me every night. So we'll show you guys more tomorrow when she's awake, but I wanted to show you the bed in case any of you, she's starting to wake up. Hey baby. All right, so basically we had this problem where she wouldn't sleep on her bed. Like she'd fall asleep on the floor, or in her little cocoon swing. So 
Lonnie found this thing. It's kind of like a regular cocoon swing. It does swing as you guys can kind of see and it does hang like that but it's also like a tent canopy. It has a canopy that goes over it. She loves it in here. This did not come with it. I will leave all the links below, but this is a mattress and it comes with a nice little blanket right there that is attached to the mattress that she can just get under. And you love it, don't you? You love it. It just is amazing for her. She would fall asleep in her cocoon swing, like balled up in the most uncomfortable positions. So we talked to the occupational therapist. There is a much bigger one with better quality material, but it's about five times the price. This was $99. The mattress was 79. The mattress is actually not a mattress. It's actually a dog bed. It's like a memory foam dog bed, but it works amazing. <laughs> so I'm completely okay with it. So we've had this for a little bit now and she seems to love it. She goes in it when it's bedtime. This is just how it looks. So at night we do close this, but it also has windows that you can either close or leave open. And it has another window over here. And her and Liam, <laughs> her and Liam <laughs> love it in here. They can both lay in here. Go away, spooky spider, go away. I'll show you more once she's awake tomorrow. Pretty amazing. Liam is doing really good with his bed. We've been leaving it down a lot for him. Um, we're actually gonna see if he continues to do good because if he does, then we may just move him into her bed. He seems to be doing good and I don't think he's gonna need to stay in the sleep safe bed. We're just gonna kind of wait and see. If it doesn't work out, then we're gonna gift this bed to someone. I'm gonna talk to Emily first and see if she needs it for Griffin. If she's like, mm, it wouldn't work or whatever it is, then I will find a family here that can't get the bed as easily as we did and gift them a bed that can help them. And obviously this is not ideal. I would love for her to want to sleep in a bed and that just be her thing. But we do whatever is gonna make our kids happiest and give them the best night's sleep. She is my best sleeper out of all four autistic kiddos. I wanna make sure that she's just getting the best sleep and there's no way she can get a good night's sleep bowled up in the cocoon like that. And then when we build our house and she gets her own room, we'll probably give her a canopy bed and see if that works out. The next day. Uh-oh. <laughs> you want, you, do you want eats? Liam, she can have a piece of your cereal. Oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. We're gonna show you a little bit more of Penelope's bed. But guys, I'm ready, I'm ready to take down fall things. I don't know if anyone else is having the Christmas itch. Like once it was November 1st, I was like, let's do Christmas stuff. So we're gonna work this weekend. Hopefully, hopefully get that done. Before doing that, I forgot. My mom sent the kids, the kids Christmas gifts. Speaking of Christmas, you know, I'm trying to finish the Christmas shopping like this weekend. Cause I am so ready to start getting ready to film. So what I got my kids for Christmas, right? And guys, you're just gonna have to bear with me. I'm using Lonnie's camera. If you guys remember, he bought him one. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Liam is obsessed with planes now. He will just watch them outside. Okay, I am not, I am so frustrated. Not happy at all, Amazon. Like, I know it really doesn't matter. I know I might be alone in this, but I cannot stand to wrap gifts that don't have an even box. Like, the boxing is messed up. Like, really bother. It really bothers me. But it's fine. We're just gonna push through it. I'm super ADHD today. The viewfinder is over here as opposed to my camera. It was above, so you could, like, I don't know. I always like to make sure I'm in the, in the right frame. Next week is my last week before I take off for Thanksgiving break from work. I'm so excited. Liam, we have to wear clothes. Come here. Come see mama. Wee! Yeah. Almost all of the kids therapists canceled today anyway. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
You like that? She can she can watch TV from basically anywhere now. Her vision is definitely getting better. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she she's like out. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just keeping it open, Liam's bed, but we'll see. Eventually, we will either just keep his bed and keep this, and then get rid of that or donate this to someone, move this bed over. So eventually this will actually be over here-ish, like right here. A few moments later. So this was not, this was not planned, but one of the kids had a poop smearing thing, accident, whatever you want to call it. And so I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to clean up. I don't think they got the outside, but if they did, this entire thing comes off. Gosh, that's loud, Liam. This entire thing comes off. This is where there is some benefit to it kind of being a dog bed, I guess. It has that cover, but this is what it looks like underneath. So you can just kind of take that off and Lonnie's gonna throw it in the wash and then it will come come clean. It does come with like an inflatable pillow type of thing. So if you don't want to go out and buy like an $80 dog bed, that's okay too. Um, you can just use the inflatable one. Because we are using it as a bed and not necessarily just as a swing, we wanted something that was more like a mattress and more comfortable for her. So we chose not to do the inflatable thing. There's that. I see you. Wait. I used to work out in the garage. We turned Lonnie's old workspace when he worked for Comcast into my workspace. But when it started to get hot this summer, I moved into my bedroom. So it's really nice because I get to kind of watch them because like this is their room. Like this is their room. That's my workspace room. Usually they're upstairs with therapy and stuff like that, but it's nice to still be able to do stuff and they have a camera in their room so that's kind of how we make it work i know we've had a lot of questions about that like how we make it work with everything and sometimes they just need to come down here to unwind it can get a little crazy upstairs so you know and she she's usually really good she just kind of plays and then sometimes when my room is in a complete mess i'll like let her just walk around while i'm working i gave her that to play with yeah, see, so she just kind of jumps into this thing and just... It's just her calm down area. All right, guys, that's it. Is that it, Leo? Is that it? It is time for us to close up this vlog. I know it was kind of all over the place. I hope I piece it together well for you. But overall, I did want to share Penelope's bed swing. One, even if you don't have a child that is like having sleeping issues or not wanting to sleep in their bed. They can still use it as just a swing. It's a great, a great thing. Liam loves it. Liam loves it during the day. We may end up having to get a second one. I don't know, but I think it's great if you have a child that likes sleeping on the floor. And I want to say there isn't anything wrong with a child sleeping on the floor. Some of our OGs will remember when we moved into the mobile home in Jacksonville and Noah I think he was like 10 or 11 and he would sleep on our floor or in our closet like it was the weirdest thing but he had this little mat and he would sleep on the floor so sleeping on the floor by itself isn't really an issue but i really wanted to get penelope a nice cozy place to sleep i just didn't like her sleeping in the cocoon it just looked guys the swing it looked really bad like it looked very 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 uncomfortable but really wasn't the floor that concerned me it was the cocoon swing i was like oh my goodness she's gonna like i don't know wake up with the crick in her neck or something if you are wanting to check out the swing or the mattress i will link them below uh, we are getting their room kind of together and once it is together i will give a sensory bedroom room tour as we have a lot of things in there we'll show you guys everything that we have as i haven't done an updated one since we left florida and we do have some new cool things that I'd like to show you guys in case it can give anyone ideas out there. So I love you all and we will see you guys next time. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be